my tutorial today is going to be uh, making someone look completely evil. Um, I did like the elf thing and like the eye color thing and I thought, you know, you can just make lo someone look completely evil with just a few simple like changes in their features. Um, one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to change the eye color. Um, not necessarily change the color itself, but I'm definitely going to darken the eye. This image is, is like significantly smaller than the last one I used, so all my brushes are way too big. Please excuse my fumbling. <laughs> I'm going to add a new layer here. I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to outline the entire image in black on the inside here. Oh, well, that would help if I selected what I was going to outline. It's way too small. Okay. And then I'm going to do the Gaussian Blur under Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And I'm going to have that set to 250 pixels. I'm going to pretty much just like outlining the whole thing in like a really soft black glow. Or shadow glow is not the right word there. Um, and I'm going to take a paintbrush and, oh, excuse me. And on a new layer, I'm going to get a big, fluffy, soft paintbrush and just like hit some places and, and make dark spots here. I mean, it's totally kind of random, except um, just around the face. And then I'm going to drop the opacity. and merge it down. Okay. And then I'm going to take the dodge tool and hit any highlights on this layer and brighten anything that I need to brighten. Should be all of the um like the highlights in the hair. I actually have to burn some of them because my my hair in this picture was actually pink at the time. And uh needs to look a little more red to be more evil. Okay. And the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a little more work on the eyes. I'm actually gonna use the burn tool again. It's it's my favorite tool. I love it. I love them so much. I love dodge and burn. I just love them. I'm gonna darken the makeup. And underneath the eyes here, where everyone has like a like where you would get bags under your eyes if you were tired, everyone has like that natural like tone under their eyes. I'm actually gonna take the spot healing brush real quick, and I had glitter on my face from doing my makeup, and uh evil chicks don't wear glitter. <laughs> Okay, I think that should be good. I'm going to go ahead, since I have the spot healing tool out, and I'm going to hit any places, any imperfections, anything I don't want. Okay. She's starting to look pretty bad. Um, the, yeah, the burn tool. Let me get this side to match a little bit. A little better. There we go. I like the yellow tone on this side, and I could tell that it is 
It's from the lighting being on this side of me when I took the picture, and this side is more shadows. So I'm actually going to have to add a new layer, grab some yellow, and my paintbrush, a very small paintbrush, and just kind of like dab it on there. Which one am I using here? I'm sorry. I uh, wasn't paying attention to what I was going to do. Alright, color burn. I'm sorry. I wasn't looking. And then I'm going to take my eraser. And right where I just put it, I'm actually going to take some of it off. Just to give it like a faint, like a hint. Dodge tool, maybe lighten it up a bit. Yeah, that's a little better. Ooh, my actual pixel was very big. Um, that doesn't look evil enough for me. I'm going to duplicate this layer and zoom in on the lips. Grab that burn tool again. Darken them up. Dodge tool and make them shiny. There we go. Let's see, and then let's flatten this image and let's go ahead and duplicate that layer. Put it on soft light. Drop the opacity. About 24% filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. Ooh, that's a lot. Hang on. There we go. It just makes like a faint glow around the face. Alright. Flatten that image. Grab the dodge tool. Oh, I'm sorry. And set the range to shadows. Exposure is at 20%. And lighten up the skin. Oh, I'm sorry, not the hair. Sorry, and then go change it to highlights. Get the hair a little bit. And then you know what? I'm going to go ahead and change the eye color in this one. I just can't help myself. I'm going to make it like an orangish red color maybe. That sounds good. The eraser tool and Take some of that color out of the uh, pupils. Pupils will not be the same color as your eye. Alright, and here's a cool little thing I like to do with um, the eyes. If I'm making them kind of particularly evil, I'll grab the burn tool. And, uh, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, I haven't changed it back. Mid-tones, 20%. Just kind of tap around it and make the inside a little darker than usual. There we go. Add a new layer. And go grab a crinkly brush. Um, it's like spotchety. You need to get something. I really, I go to this Galaxy brush because if you look at it, bigger. All of the edges around it are really like kind of like an explosion. There is something going on on every square inch of this brush. And on a new layer, you're going to make it red. 
make the brush small again. There we go. And just click the corner of the eye here. I should probably use the paintbrush for this. Sorry. In the corner of the eye. And over here. Where's that? Come on. Sorry, I'm using my keyboard to do this. Here we go. Set it to darken. Drop it down a little bit. Grab the eraser tool. And get the same brush. And make it a little bit bigger than it was the last time you used it. And just click the edges. Just like that. Grab the burn tool. And make a large soft brush and burn that red a little bit. All right. There we go. Looks a little better. It could use a little more on the inside actually. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the exact same process. Put it on the inside of the eye. Get the eraser. You just erase the edges a little bit. And this even works if you've ever looked at your eye when you have um, really dry or red eyes. Um, just around the pupil a little bit. Just around the edges sometimes gets a little bloodshot. And for that, you're going to get a regular um, soft brush and delete everything that's close to the eye color right on the inside and it, it leaves just the faintest like shade of red just on, like around the outside edges okay and back to full size and I think she looks evil there you go and um, if there's anything I, I didn't explain well in this tutorial please leave me a comment or send me a message or um, hit me up on mzilla.com that is e m z i l l a m z i l l a dot com, <laughs> and um, if I left anything out, or you think I could have done something different or better, or um, if I didn't explain it well enough for you, uh, just get in contact with me. I will totally like walk you through all of this. I will help you out. That's what I'm here for. Um, if you liked my video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel, and share this with your friends. Um, if you have any suggestions for my next video or if you have anything that you would like to learn how to do, um, I will totally, even if I don't know how to do it, I will totally do all the research. I will go teach myself how to do what you want to do and I will absolutely like, dedicate myself to making sure that I get it right and I will make a video for you. Alright, and um, thanks for watching my video. You have a wonderful day. Bye!